Yes. What about public financing of campaigns, which has come up before, to free up people from having to raise money all the time? Well, my own view is yeah. there's a version of um, small dollar funded campaigns mm -hmm. uh, that we need. Um, so my view would be, you know, for example, every single American contributes at least $50 to the federal treasury, um, not necessarily through income taxes, but through cigarette taxes or whatever. So at least $50. So let's say, take that $50, that first $50, and turn it into a democracy voucher. So every voter gets to allocate that $50 to whatever congressional candidate he or she wants. Um, and then in addition to that, um, candidates who opt into the system could accept up to $100 in real money contributions right. um, from any citizen. So. $50 from every voter is $6 billion. The total amount raised and spent in the 2008 congressional election was $1.4 billion. So plenty, $6 plenty billion dollar is plenty of money. Right. Under that system, two things are true. Number one, nobody could believe money was buying results. Right? There's money in the system, but it's yep. not money from a particular set of interests that's distorting it. Okay, number one. Number two, the standard Republican criticism of public funding is that my money is being used to support speech I don't believe in. Right. Not true about this system. Your money is being used to support speech you do believe in, and my money is being used to support speech I believe in. That's a system that I think produces a kind of politics. And we've seen versions of this in three states. Arizona, where the Tea Party uses this system to fund much of their success. Mm -hmm. Um, Maine and Connecticut uh, the produces legislatures where the vast majority of members in those legislatures are not people who are there because of the money. And that begins to build the kind of trust that we need for the system to work. You, you mentioned trust and not having, uh, public not having sufficient trust in government. That, that's an issue for you as well. You have started to develop, evolve a critique of trust in institutions. And right. you mentioned the sugar subsidies. That's one right. example. You sound like Michael Pollan talking about how the obesity epidemic among right. children in this country can be tied directly back to the mistrust we should have of institutions advocating in our interest as opposed to right. their own. Is that a solvable problem? Because it sounds very dire, and it's not something in any case that can be fixed quickly. No, that's right. And so yeah. I run a center at Harvard, which is focusing on what we call institutional corruption, yep. which is basically influences that are legal. We're not talking about bribery. We're yep. talking about legal influences that undermine the effectiveness or public trust of an institution. Right. So I've learned a lot from Michael Pollan in exactly that dynamic. Yeah. Um, but think about doctors you know, taking money from drug companies and then recommending vaccines. Yeah. Right. Um, Many Americans, many parents listen to that and say, I don't trust you when you tell me I should vaccinate yeah. my kid. Um, I'm not going to vaccinate my kid. Right. And so increasingly, parents are not vaccinating their kids against like measles. And we're seeing the outbreak of measles, a really deadly disease for the first time right. in generations because of this cynicism. Born that, of mistrust. Yeah, born of mistrust. Yep. And so I look at it and say, look, we need to be able to structure our institutions so the people trust them. And we can do that. Like that's what the framers of our constitution were obsessed with. How how do we build a constitutional regime that can have the right kind of independence and the right kind of dependence so that people can trust that this is doing what it yeah. says it's doing? And it's private institutions and public of institutions. Of course, it's, it's all. It's, it's all. government, but it's also business. Right. Right. Private, right. We depend upon private institutions in extremely important areas of our life, but we need to be able to trust them. And, yeah. and trust is depends upon how people understand the relations and incentives. We've, we've tested this. We've done psychological experiments where we've just suggested financial connections in the context of politics, in the context of medicine, in the context of consumer products. And we can see how the mere suggestion that money might be affecting the decision throws people over the cliff. Now, yeah. they're more trusting of doctors than they are of politicians. But I think pol doctors need to look at this and say, we don't want to become like politicians. We and, don't want and this is also like the Wall Street, uh, the whole uh, f f the inside job winning the Oscar for best documentary is kind of, a it's kind of a validation fantastic. of the idea that you know we know what's going on out there. We're not going to let you guys get away with this. Right. Although, right. In, in effect, we have. Yeah, I mean, that was, of course, uh, Charlie Ferguson's acceptance speech. You know, this, this statute doesn't mean anything. None of these guys have gone to jail. But I think it's a more complicated story because, yeah. you know, the standard way we like to talk about this is that we've got a bunch of criminals out there. And I don't doubt that there are criminals. There are more, there's more than just one Madoff yeah. in this story. But it's not criminals. These are good people who are just living inside of a system that drives them to do the wrong thing. And, and what they need to do is take responsibility for their system right. and to stand up and fix the system. Even right. though they're not you know, criminals themselves, they have to realize the system is driving us to destruction. And yet it's legal. I mean, the, it's the, totally the legal. old Molly yeah. Ivins line, maybe quoting somebody else, you know, the crime is not what's illegal, it's what's it's legal. legal. Right, right. right.